Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Reviews and today we are going to compare the three most popular ride hailing apps in Ghana which are namely 1. Uber 2. Bolt which was formerly called Taxify and then the latest addition which is Yango you know you can't go a day without seeing their ads on YouTube it's like they're everywhere you pass so to do this comparison we are going to look at a couple of factors the first being the price how much does this app charge how much does that app charge when you're going to the same destination we are going to look at the speed with which you can get a ride when you request we're also going to look at the user interface the user experience of the apps we are then also going to look at the support that the company offers when you have an issue we are going to look at the car types available and we are going to look at other factors we are going to be using only the base models of each ride hailing app okay so for example on uber we are just going to use the base model you know uber has uber x and uber select so we are going to use uber x only that's the base model because that's what most people are more likely to use all right so without wasting any further time let's get right into the video the first comparison we'll do is by price and by price i mean the price per trip so what we are going to do is to check how much it costs from a central place, in this case Ridge, to certain places. So we'll start from Ridge to Accra Mall, which is a very popular destination in Accra in Ghana. Then we'll go a bit further from Ridge to Ashoman Estate. Then we'll try and move outside of the greater Accra region of Ghana and then move from Ridge to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi in the Ashanti region. And please note that the time of the day matters, so it is important that I mention that these tests were performed around 3 p.m. So if you do it at a different time, you may get different results. Also, the time I did this test, the weather was clear, it wasn't raining or anything of the sort. So we didn't get a surge in prices due to high demands like they say. So we we'll first start with Uber. We open the Uber app and then we are going to input Accra Mall in the destination and then it says 21 cities for uber x and 23 cities for uber select all right so we are going to switch apps and then next we are going to bolt then we are going to input the same destination Accra mall note that we are doing this on the same phone so that the experience is the same using the same internet connection and for Accra mall bolt says 15 cities for their normal, their regular, and then 18 CDs for the comfort edition. Next, we are going to open up the Yango app, a new kid on the block. And then we are going to input Accra Mall as well. And then let's see how much Yango is going to charge us. So for Yango, they don't have any secondary car model. So it's 17 CDs, that's economy for Yango. All right. So just to give these local um, ride hailing apps a chance, I'm going to open up the Famico app, which I've reviewed together with Dropping Ghana in my other video. I'll put the link below in the description so that you can check it out. And we are going to check for Accra Mall. And then the price that's going to give us is 17 CDs. So um, in the first round, the cheapest option was Bolt followed by Yango and Famico and the highest was Uber. All right, so now we are going to move further away from Accra Mall. We're going to input Ashram and Estate. And let's see what we get when we input Ashram and Estate. So it says 42 CDs and 50 CDs for UberX and Uber Select respectively. Now let's switch to the next app that's Bolt and input Ashram and Estate and let's see what we get. So I'm going to type Ashraman Estates and then let's see how much it's going to cost us. So I put that Ashraman Estates and it's 31 CDs and 37 CDs for Bolt, which is way cheaper than that of Uber. And now let's try Yango and see if it's going to be cheaper than Bolt. So we input, I'm sorry for the typo, we input Ashraman Estates for Yango and then we do a search so Ashram and Estate how do you spell Estate again okay cool and the price is 32 CDs so 
Here too, we see that Bolt was the cheapest, followed by Yango, and then Uber always seems to have the highest price. So now let's move way outside of the Greater Accra region and then let's go to the Ashanti region and let's type KNUST. I don't know if we can find KNUST or we need to type Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Um, hmm. I made a mistake that I typed KNUST and gave me KNUST guest house, so I was expecting that it would be Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology guest house. But... So let's try Kwame in Chrome and let's see because typing KNUST we are not getting any results which is in Kumasi every result is in Accra which is pretty weird you know so I'm going to just type Kwame in Kuma, University of Science and Technology and I hope it gives me a result okay so Kwame in Kuma, University I mean this app should know what I'm doing and should be able to, you know, give me exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, anyway, so Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, 254 Ghana CDs. Wow! And VIP and the other commercial buses are like 40 CDs. And select is 301 CDs. And this one ad for our Fly Hour, that's Africa Air World Airlines, but I think they have a 90 CDs option by fly to Kumas. Anyway, so now we move to Bolt, type Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and let's see what we get. I'm expecting that it will be cheaper than Uber. Um, oh my god. 416, that's almost two times that of Uber for the Bolt and the Comfort rather is 303. Guys, are you seeing this? Doesn't make sense. So let's try Yango and see. Maybe this time you will get the opportunity of being cheaper or the cheapest. So Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Mm. Hurry up guys, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology good 196.4 kilometers away and 264 Ghana cities. So in this round, Uber actually won. So it looks like when you move further away from the capital, Bolt is the most expensive, followed by Uber and then Yango. So now let's try Tamale. Okay, and let's see what we get. Okay, Tamale. No results. It looks like <laughs> Uber doesn't go to Tamale. So if you are planning on taking an Uber to Tamale, forget about it. You ain't going to Tamale for nothing. Yeah. All right. So generally, what we learn here is that um, Bolt is generally the cheapest of the three options followed closely by Yango and then Uber but then if the distance is extremely long the next thing we are going to look at is the car options available Uber has Uber X which is the cheaper version and Uber describes the Uber X as a four-seater ride which is an affordable everyday ride and it says your fare will be the price presented before the trip or based on the rates below and other applicable set charges and adjustments. Additional waiting times charges may apply to your trip if the driver has waited for 5 minutes and that is 0.3 CDs per minute. Then they also have the Uber Select and Uber describes it as affordable rides in more spacious cars. So now let's look at Bolt. Bolt has just the regular Bolt and then the Comfort. So Bolt doesn't do any description of its cars, but there's a picture. So the Comfort looks more like, you know, uh, I don't know what the <laughs> Comfort is comfortable and the regular Bolt, but I guess you get you get a dress because in Ghana, the Uber cars are mainly small, 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 small cars like the Wumatis and Hyundai i10 and stuff and then the Uber Select and the Bolt Comforts will be the Toyota Camrys and I've even seen a pickup and a Mercedes and stuff like that okay so now let's look at Yango unfortunately Yango has just one type of car it says economic cars and these are like it even describes the kind of cars you should expect so there's Hyundai, Solaris, Kia, Rio, Volkswagen, Polo and stuff. So they don't have any other kind of car. 
in Ghana at least. So if you are in another country and Yango has different types of cars, do let us know in the comment section. Now let's talk about support. Before I use any product or service, one factor which I consider the most is support. If I encounter an issue, how soon would I be attended to? If I need help, how easy is it to get assistance? And then once I get the assistance, how helpful is it in resolving my issue? Those are the things I look out for. So we begin with Uber. And since that is the app I have used a lot because it's been around for quite a while, you see that I have raised a lot of issues. To get support on the Uber app, go into the sandwich menu at the top left hand corner and select help. To see all the support messages you have, when you go to help, you scroll to the bottom of the screen and then you would see support messages and under, under it you see view all messages. So let's see some of the messages that I've logged to Uber over the past year and the responses they've given to see if it's adequate. So at the bottom you see someone else took this trip. And for me I'm someone who likes to write a lot and I'm very descriptive when there's an issue. So let's go ahead and read. It says, Dear Uber team, this morning I had a very terrible experience and I, I may never use your services again. I requested an Uber and the driver delayed and pretended not to know where my location was. After waiting for 30 minutes, he told me to cancel. I was charged 5 CDs for that. In addition, I was charged the 28 CDs on my card. And I attempted several times to book another ride, but each time it kept going to the same driver. So I always cancelled. Then Uber charged me another 27 CDs. This is preposterous. I have been charged a whopping 60 CDs for a service I never enjoyed. I demand a refund now. Because in the end, I had to take a normal taxi. I have my bank alerts and statements to prove my case. So this is what I told Uber and this is their response. We understand that it's frustrating to have an unexpected charge, Frank. We know that the pickup experience doesn't always go as you may have expected. Driver partners are always encouraged to complete all the trip requests that they accept by reaching a rider's exact location within the ETA mentioned for a hassle-free pickup experience. Reviewing the issue, we've added Uber Credit's 5 Ghana CDs in the amount of the cancellation fee to your account. You would see this amount if you go to the payment section in the app. Moreover, when a trip is requested, Uber may place an authorization hold which may appear as pending or authorized on the statement for your payment method. Additionally, there are authorization holds for 27 and 28 CDs for your cancelled trips which were avoided by Uber. Authorization holds blah blah blah, you know, it's a very professional kind of PR um, response, you know, loads of jargons. Uh, so let's look at the next one. This one, I said someone took my trip. My driver never showed up and the initial charge was not reversed. I called the driver and he said he was being delayed by a customer at Move and Pick. So after wasting about 30 minutes of my time, I asked him to cancel. Kindly refund. Frank, thanks for writing in, Frank. Sorry to hear about the inconvenience. The charge of 5 Ghana appearing on your bank notification relates to blah 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 blah. Playing T-Jargons. So we go to the next one. My driver was rude. Okay. He complained severely about the fact that I used a card to pay. He said I had messed up his day as a result. From start of trip to end of trip, he even suggested he ends the trip so that I give him money. That's cash, yeah? He explained about the traffic on the road. How's that my fault? Didn't Uber charge me extra for that? On the extra charge, I have a complaint against Uber. Then Uber responds, thank you for writing in Frank. Sorry to hear about the issue. Driver partners are encouraged to complete all their requests, blah, 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 blah. More jargons. So we go to the next one. I think my fare is inaccurate. Hi Frank, sorry to hear about it. Okay, so, alright, so here I was picked up at Ekobangana head office and then I was dropped off at Atomic Junction runabout and these are the details. I've observed to my dismay that whenever there's a discount promotion and I use the Uber app, regardless of how short the trip is and how fast I arrive at my destination, the initial discounted amounts charged to my card is always reversed and amounts far beyond the undiscounted amounts charged. This suggests to me that when a trip lasts longer for any reason, you don't calculate this count on the new prices. As a result, I see the whole discount thing as a scam to make drivers, I mean riders use your app, but in the end we are charged the initial amount without a discount or more. I have quietly observed this for the past one month. If there is a price change, no discounts are applied and it is calculated on the initial amount. I drive, but I use the Uber app when there are discounts available. 
Please prove me wrong. Frank. Yeah, I know. Me pair. Man, so trip her on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a lawyer in training. Hi, Frank. Sorry to hear about the issue. We have reviewed your query and can see that you have already informed us about the same issue in another email. Yeah, so yeah. When I like to be heard, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that will just sit back, you know, for things to just happen. I, I, I got to have my say and uh, I want to be heard. So this one. In fact, this one was a very serious one. I requested this trip. I was immediately debited on my card, which I've linked to the Uber app. My, the amount was 14 CDs. My driver and I could not connect. I called Sir Riley, but he never picked. I was going to call a Boo Hospital for an appointment, so I cancelled the trip and I was charged an additional 5 CDs, which when I went to refund, Uber says has been refunded to my account. However, the original 14 CDs has still not been reversed. Please reverse the 14 CDs. Then Uber comes up and talks about drivers are encouraged, blah, blah, blah. We have reviewed, blah, blah, blah. Furthermore, amounts, blah, blah. Jargons. And I also wrote back to them, thanks for your response. However, the 14 CDs which was debited to my account has still not been reversed. My account is still short by 14 CDs for a trip I didn't enjoy. I think I'll just make cash my primary payment method. That way, there will be no debit when I haven't enjoyed a trip. Please reverse it because my card is the primary payment method. Every time I request a trip, I'm debited before the driver even arrives. Whilst I have your attention, I think you need to reconsider the new calling system. I left my car key in the driver's car, but I couldn't call him outside the app when the trip was over. Luckily, the driver returned it in his own time. And blah 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 response. You know, it's always sort of like a generic response and stuff. Then. The craziest one happened five months ago. I wrote a very long essay, so I'll just try and summarize it or read quickly. Yeah? Hi, Uber. I've had the worst experience ever today. The driver in the screenshots below picked up my request, but he says there's traffic on the road, so he's not going to come. I asked him to cancel, and he says he won't. I've used my credit card for the trip, so I don't want to cancel because I've already been debited. This is the second driver. The first cancelled when he noticed that I was using the card. As a result, I've been standing here for over an hour and the current driver is refusing to cancel the request even though he's not coming. He says he will leave it like that. Please treat us urgent or I share this experience on my timeline. I posted a message above on Facebook to your page. Then later I received a notification that I should wait to the driver and have been charged 41 CDs. Please note, this is very fraudulent of the driver to go and start the trip when I wasn't in it and then for him to drive around and let me be deducted an additional 41 CDs. I demand an apology and a complete refund and also the outright dismissal of the driver else I'll take this thing beyond social media. Thank you, Frank. Hi Frank, we reviewed your trip and it looks like someone else may have taken the ride you requested. We are sorry to hear about the confusion caused here. We refunded your full fare and emailed you an updated receipt. Your refund will be reflected in your payment accounts depending on the country up to a week. We hope to offer you a better experience on your next ride. So that was some of the support issues I've had with Uber. Now let's look at Bolt. So Bolt, I've had just one major issue and to find support on Bolt, you just go to the menu and sandwich menu and then you click on support. Then like Uber, you scroll to the bottom and once you scroll to the bottom, you are going to see all conversations. So I'm going to load the biggest issue I ever had with Bolt and I said the price was higher than expected. I took this trip from Ecobank head office to Ashram and Estates. Initially, it showed 30 something Ghana CDs, 37 CDs, but then later on the trip, when I got to, I didn't even get to my destination. It was 83 Ghana CDs. And I was like, man, I'm not going to stand for this. So let's go. Hello, Frank. Thank you for reaching out. Okay to us. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience cause we checked and recalculated this trip and we can see that the driver partner had a GPS issue with his phone which caused an overcharge. Like seriously, the final fare was supposed to be 37 instead of the 83 charge. Kindly provide us the details below so we can refund the extra money charge. Exact amount paid, mobile money account number, mobile money service provider. We hope you understand and get back to us. Warm regards, Steve Yabua. So comparing this kind of response to Uber's generic message, I gotta say I prefer fair boats or taxifies you know support it feels like i'm talking to a human being when it comes to uber it feels like i'm talking to a robot or something so i also responded nicely thanks for getting in touch steve you know because they've calmed me down so now i can also talk because i've seen that the people are we are serious 
one exact amount paid is equal to eight CDs, 83 CDs. Mobile money account number is this, mobile money service provider is this, and the name on the account is this. And they responded, hello Frank, thank you for keeping in touch. Your mobile money account details have been forwarded to our payment team and you should receive your money within seven days. We wish to see you continue using both. And everything was resolved just like they said. Awesome. I love both. So for support so far, I prefer both. Now let's see Yango. So with Yango, you do the same thing. You go to the hamburg the sandwich menu or hamburger menu or whatever, and then you click on support, which is the last button. And once you click on support, you scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen and then you click view all messages. So the last one I had was 24 days ago and I said there were no taxis and they responded, hello, we are really sorry for this situation. The mobile application shows the message no available cars if it is impossible to guarantee the fast delivery and if there are no free cars around the client in the acceptable radius. This one too sounds like I'm talking to a robot. So 13 days ago, I chose over speeding and reckless driving and says, hello, thank you for contacting us. We care about the safety and comfort of our passengers. We remind the driver that we can suspend him from the orders because of traffic law violations. If such complaints are repeated, he's unlikely to continue working with us. Please accept our apologies and this personal promo code, blah, blah, blah. You need to enter it in the promo code section of the applications menu before making an order. So they compensated me because the driver was driving recklessly and their message too was okay. So when it comes to support, so far the best kind of support I've had is with Bolt, formerly known as Taxify, followed by Yango, I guess, then Uber because of the generic messages and jargons that they put out there, yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about the user interface and user experience of the three apps. First of all, let's consider the ease of use. And by ease of use, I'm referring to how easy it is to sign up, order your first ride, cancel an order, rate a driver, add card as a payment source, log issues and get support, etc. Signing up for all the three apps is relatively easy. They all use phone number verification, so you need to input your phone number and then you receive an SMS code which you use to verify that the number actually belongs to you. Then you go ahead to fill in a new profile detail. However, Uber and Bolt have the added option of social media sign up where you can use Facebook or Gmail to sign up for Uber and Facebook only for Bolt. Now let's consider the payment methods accepted. I hardly carry cash on me, so I prefer to use my card to pay. However, I've noticed that when you choose to pay with your card, you are debited before the trip starts. That is, if the card is a debit card. As a result, sometimes getting a refund is difficult, especially if you cancel the trip. Uber and Bold support card payments, but Yango only supports cash payments in Ghana, as at the time of making this video. Now let's also consider value added services and by value added services I mean the extra stuff which you know makes the app better you know it makes the app more refined. So when it comes to value added services Uber leaves the other two apps in the dust. The first one is you can schedule a trip on the Uber app okay and this feature is missing in Bolt and Yango. With this feature you can schedule a ride as far as 30 days in advance up until 15 minutes in advance however it does not work well for most people who have used it and the second thing we can look at when it comes to value added services is the ability to change the rating and review that you gave to a driver sometimes people make mistakes you may have mistakenly rated a driver higher or lower than what you intended to or you could have changed your mind after thinking about the ride. Whatever it is, you should be able to edit the review and rating that you gave the driver. Only Uber allows you to do so currently. Now let's look at security. I save security for last so that you don't forget about it. You are responsible for your own security. However, Uber has the trusted contacts feature which lets loved ones follow your trip. So at any point in time, you know where your boo or your bay or your boo bay is, yeah? If they are on a trip, None of the other apps have this feature as at the time of posting this video. Uber also has a long list of requirements that drivers need to meet to be eligible to be an Uber driver, including 1. Have a valid driving license for Ghana. 2. Complete a safety screening. Watch a short information video. And you have to be a minimum of 25 years of age to be an Uber driver. And the minimum vehicle requirements is 
one a working radio air conditioning four doors and they also have their accepted types of vehicles and then they also check their required vehicle documentation so those include the commercial insurance certificate with comprehensive cover and then a roadworthiness certificate so uber i would like to say is more secure or at least that's more in terms of checking the security on the app and then guaranteeing or assuring security of its passengers so now that i've gone through all the features of the three apps uh, this is my personal wish list okay i wish that they would add payments using mobile money all right because many Ghanaians have accepted mobile money as a means of enabling payments electronically and the bank of ghana website published payments system statistics and it's indicated that there are over 12 million active mobile money accounts as at march 2019 and over 400 million transactions have been done on mobile money alone from january to march 2019 400 million transactions okay so it shows that people have accepted mobile money in ghana especially the ladies and it's more like a curse to the guys but then yeah so if uber is to include mobile money as a source of payment i believe it would really help a lot of people to also patronize the services and promote a cash light society so that we don't have to carry cash everywhere we go so which of these apps do you prefer and like what is the reason why you prefer one app over the other i know this is like the longest video ever for me but i hope it was worth your time if you enjoyed this it would mean a lot to me if you could show some love by clicking on the like button sharing this video and letting me know in the comment section which ride hailing app is your favorite and why thanks be brave